Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a couple of things we're going to be working on today. Let me show you what I got. So, this drain pan right here, or oil pan, does not have a drain plug. So, I bought a magnetic drain plug and fitting to weld into the pan. Also, since I like to, to gamble, uh, I'm going to test my TIG welding skills today that I haven't used for, well, since I built the Snowcat. And we'll see if I can get these taken care of. But I shortened up this um, return line off of the turbo to the oil pan, and it actually fits where the starter doesn't run into it. So those are two things we're going to get started with. Um, in other related news, I got this spacer machine down to fit on the uh, 4BD2T engine to create the entire adapter solution for um, the Allison transmission in the Snowcat here. So anyhow, let's start with that and then we'll move on to the next part of the plans for the day.
Okay, a couple things we need to do next. We need to get this drain line put back in. However, we need to do a little bit more work on the bell housing because I was starting to think about it. And the way it sits now, I have no way of telling. I have no way of telling if the uh, torque converter is sitting at the correct depth because there's no way to reach in and check it once you get this whole thing put together. So, on the Isuzu transmission, the lower part of the bell housing on the transmission is cut out. There's like a little window in it. On this, the area that I need to get to with bolts for the flex plate and the torque converter are in the bell housing area. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate those lower two bolt holes and just make a little window right there. So cut that piece out. Um, and in order to do that, uh, plus I want to finalize this bell housing, I'm going to pull that out, cut that little section out, um, dress up any sharp edges that are on this housing, and I'm going to paint it flat black so it's not the blue color anymore. And I'll probably wire wheel it down. This thing is made of cast iron, so it's really heavy. And the more material I can re remove from it, the better. So um, once that's done, we can get that reinstalled, get the starter in and finalized, get the drain, the turbo drain line in and finalized. And then we're at the fun point where we can start bolting stuff together, um, verify that the starter engages with the flywheel, um, checking the dimensions and the depth for the uh, torque converter and the flex plate. I think everything's going to work the way it's supposed to. Um, I did get some bolts uh, that match up to that flywheel or that crankshaft. Um, they're a size smaller, so they're 14 mil versus 16 mil by 1.5. And then um, I guess at that point, it's probably time to get the transmission in. And uh, we'll just see how far we can get today, but let's start with this bell housing first. guys as you can see or not see there's plenty of clearance around that return line for the turbo now so we got that taken care of the other thing I'm pretty happy about look at all the clearance we have for this bell housing this is awesome I think this is gonna work just fine now I have it jacked up like half an inch 
from where it normally sits um, just so I have room to maneuver the transmission in when we get to that point um, however check out the starter all the clearance it has the only other thing I'm kind of concerned about is uh, well it's not really a concern it's just another challenge can't really see it but the turbo uh, exhaust that comes down is gonna have to dump out pretty quick somewhere <laughs> I don't know if I can snake it over that hump and then all the way back to here again might be able to I just I don't know so um, let me show you what we're up against next so we've got the flywheel and this spacer that I had machined down after taking some measurements now the pilot bearing here that's sticking out sits at 14 mil you know all the way to the face here from the face of the flywheel where it seats to the face of the pilot bearing there uh, on the crankshaft itself that recess that sits in there and that little lip is about 13 to 13 and a half millimeters however I had them bevel this along the edge there all the way down to about 12 and a half millimeters because I didn't know how that was going to work out so I'm pretty sure this should sit flush on that crankshaft and if it doesn't if there's like some play in it or whatnot I'll have to take it back out and just trim a little bit off of this you know very small amount I did order some hardware from bellmetric.com um, these are gonna be the bolts they're class 12.9 and they will end up going inside this spacer here let me show you okay yeah so if we take one of these washers and we go through this spacer here not only do they sit past flush like they're supposed to but they center themselves up inside this spacer so it's kind of a two two for uh two for one deal there and then of course those drop in through the flywheel so let's attempt to get this mounted in there and then we're going to do a starter engagement check and i'm pretty excited about that moving forward here guys there you have it I got the flex plate mounted anyhow you see my little cutout down here um, that's gonna come in handy lining up those bolts on the torque converter but uh, come back tomorrow and I think we will uh, get this transmission mounted at least that will be the goal for the day um, and I'm not gonna say there's gonna be any more no more hang-ups but there might be so who knows but uh, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And hey, uh, before we take Rusty back up next winter, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. Should I brush Rusty out one more time with a uh, 316 stainless cup? Shine him up one more time and then let him patina again? Let me know your uh, thoughts down in the uh, comment section. Something I was thinking about. Because if you go out here and you see all this stuff that I've been leaving out in the rain and the weather and stuff like that. Look at how nice it looks. Anyhow, that's a whole other 
time to be doing that. I got so much other stuff to fix on Rusty, but other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other, and as always, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye.